So today we will be drawing our Ming Dynasty vases. I'm going to start with drawing a simple vase shape. I am drawing a large circle at the bottom of my paper. And then from one side of that circle, I'm drawing a line that goes straight up. On the other side, another line that goes straight up. Those will be the sides of the vase. And then for the top, I'm just drawing a straight line to connect those two lines. So that's going to be the shape of my vase. Notice it's not perfectly symmetrical or perfectly even, and that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now I will outline it with my Sharpie. Also, as a side note, you guys can do any shape vase that you want to. It does not have to look just like mine. We saw a lot of different designs in our gallery tour. If there was a vase shape that you really liked that you saw, you could do that one or you could invent your own shape. But I just went with this simple shape. Now I'm erasing any pencil lines that I have. And then I am drawing handles for my vase. This is also an option for you if you want to include handles. I think it kind of spices the vase up a bit, so I'm deciding to add them. And next, I'm going to speed things up a little bit here. I am going to fill my entire vase with different patterns and designs. As we've learned, patterns are different shapes or lines that are repeated over and over again. You can see here I'm drawing a pattern with circles and ovals. I'm including lots of different lines and shapes. The patterns that I am drawing right now are called geometric patterns which means that they're consistent of different shapes, like circles, squares, arches. You could also do some different designs. Some of the vases that we looked at use different designs like flowers, like I'm drawing here. Some had birds, some had fish, some had waves, some had dragons. So that's something that you could think about too. You could do a combination of several different designs. Here at the bottom, I'm doing some dragon designs. Dragons are a symbol for good luck in Chinese. Fun fact. So here I've drawn all my designs. Remember that I sped this video up, so I want you guys to really take your time with this and add lots of details. Then I'm gonna go through and outline all of my shapes. Outlining is just an option, it is not required. But I like the crispness of how it looks on my white paper. And then next I'm adding my blues. So all of the pottery that we saw in the gallery was white porcelain with blue on top. So I have different color blues that I am adding to my designs. Remember to leave some white spaces too when you do this. And next I'm cutting it out so that I can put it on a bigger piece of paper to draw my flowers on. So now I've got my glue. I am putting glue on the back of my vase. Always remember that a little bit of glue goes a long way. Do not put this on in big gobs. You just need a little bit. And now I'm going to glue my vase towards the bottom of my paper. 
and then on the space above the vase, I'll have room to draw my flowers. So I'm gonna get started with these flowers. I am starting with pencil. It always is important to use a pencil in case you make a mistake. You can also draw lightly so that it's easier to erase. So I'm starting with drawing some zigzag shapes that are going to be like grass. So that my bouquet can have all sorts of like green leaves and flowers sticking out of it. Here I'm drawing a daisy. So you draw a small circle with petals going all the way around it. I included a stem with my flower too and a leaf. You can design your own flowers for this. You could even do something like a cactus if flowers aren't really your thing. You guys probably know by now that I love drawing flowers, so I drew a lot of them. Here I have a second daisy. Your flowers can overlap each other too if you want to. And you can come up with all different types of shapes and designs. They don't even have to be realistic. Here I am drawing a flower called a tulip. Tulips are a very common spring flower and they're usually the first flower to bloom every spring. So to draw a tulip, you will draw a U shape and then a W on top. So I've got my U and then a W on top. So you have a line going down, up, down, up. Sometimes it's awkward to fill in all these little spaces between my flowers. So those are sections that I will either leave white or I'll just fill in with the green leaves. And here I am drawing a flower that starts with a small circle. And then I kind of do wavy circular lines going around it to create different layers of that flower. As always, remember to take your time and add lots of details. Now I'm going through and outlining all of my shapes. This is going to help my outlines and my flowers stand out when I add watercolor to them so I can still see their lines. And next it's time for my favorite part, watercolors. So you can see I'm using my paint palette to mix and blend new colors. I think that this is important, especially with the green colors 
so that you have a variety of greens in the leaves and stems of your bouquet. And then for your flowers, you can use any and every color you want to. Don't be afraid to mix those colors together and use more than one color on a flower. And now that my flowers are done, I am drawing a table for my vase to sit on. I did some wood designs on that table. And I'm also using a little bit of black paint to create a shadow where my vase is. Then I'm adding this fun and colorful background. If you want to add a background, you can go ahead and do that too. Just be careful. Um, not to paint over your flowers or your vase. Remember, always keep a paper towel with you just in case you need to wipe off some paint.